Dr. Jack Zaramba, the former Director General of Health Services in the Ministry of Health, seasoned lawyer Elika Ruhanga, and businessman Amos Inzei are among the few long-time friends of Governor Emmanuel Mutebide. They paid tribute to him. Governor Mutebide was an extremely intelligent and confident man since childhood. When we hear people saying that Muchiga, Muchiga says what he means, Tumusime Mutebire was a true Muchiga. Behind that person, that the image the country has of him, is totally another human being. Soft, kind, friendly, humorous, to the core. For the years that I have known him, at probably age from age of six, He's been a straightforward person, honest, uh, intelligent, and a peaceful person who did not want to hurt anybody. And God-fearing above all. Dr. Elika Ruhanga lost to Mutebide in the Makerere University Guild presidential elections in the early 70s and later after taking office, Mutebide criticized President Idi Amin's expulsion of Asians and would later flee the country with the help of former President Milton Obote. Eli Karuhanga reflects on what he described as the most bitterly contested election at Makerere ever. And uh, because my, I was a liberal capitalist, the Asian students, there were very many. I think at the time there were like 600 in the university of about 3,000. They went to be uh, counted. There was a census on Indians, so they didn't vote. But that was grace and fortune for me because I was very happy that I did not win that election because uh, there was danger looming ahead of us for any leader who would take over. And in fact, it took a short time before my brother had to flee the country. Some critics blame Mutebide for overseeing the collapse of Uganda commercial banks like Uganda Cooperative Bank, Greenland Bank, International Credit Bank, Tefe Trust Bank, Gold Trust Bank, the National Bank of Commerce, and Crane Bank. However, Karuhanga and Amos Inzei say Mutebide was not to blame. If the financial system of banks collapse, the economy collapses. So closing banks is one of the worst things any governor would like to see. But it is his duty to be bold enough to do it. You cannot blame the, 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 the head of an organization and you leave the people who actually he delegates to do the job, the right job. Some MPs also paid their tribute with the FDC describing Mutebide as a regime hostage. I remember a scenario where one of the students was supposed to be operated in India. The parents could not afford. Mutawile single-handedly supported uh, this guy and he went to India, he recovered. This is something that not everybody does. I must say this was a premature death and I blame it squarely on the appointing authority. You know, his renewal of this uh, uh, tenure which he was serving, which death has, has just uh, denied him was at a time when he was in this post, he was sickly, he was frail. And uh, that is an office which is so demanding. In paying homage to the late Mutebile, we would like to observe that we believe that the late Mutebile was a hostage of the Museveni dictatorship. Mutebire is also remembered for publicly describing former president Milton Obote as his mentor. In 2005, when Obote died, Mutebire ignored any political pressure and attended his burial, despite the government's views on the former president. Both the governor's residences in Kabale and Kololo in Kampala remain under tight security cordon. But many mourners now hope the next governor will live up to the awaiting task of restoring confidence in the office. Edward Mhumza, NTV.